our final match of the weekend of this stage four of the Archery World Cup sponsored by Hyundai for 2017. And Archer, who's already been out onto the field of play in the men's team event. He's ranked number one in the world and qualified in first place this week. He's the 25-year-old team gold medalist from Rio 2016. Took a bronze in the team event earlier today. It is Kim Woo Jin of Korea. And his opponent didn't make the team event, but the fourth of the men's team archers for Korea this week, Kim Jong Ho. And as you said, John, kind of the master v the students. An upcoming talent versus someone who's an unassailable great in the game. Uh, absolutely. Well, we saw uh, Wu Jin shoot mixed team for fun earlier on uh, in the gold medal match. He, yeah, he's the world record holder, defending world champion, Dalt, yeah. He, you know, he's experienced out here. But I imagine that, that Kim Jong-ho is not going to uh, go, oh, yeah, you, you win this one. Yeah, he's going to want to show that he's the guy to watch out for for the next, you know, for Tokyo going forward. Such competition between the uh, Korean archers that even as world number one with all that he's accomplished in the sport, you know that there's 10 or 12 other archers breathing down your neck if you're Kim Wee Jin, don't you? Yes. It's, 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 it's so hard to make, make that team. But the Olympic champion isn't here, is he? Kubo Chum. Can't make a team. So Kim Wee Jin will start us off on target number one. Ten. And it's a 10. In a 10. Just phenomenal. Kim Jong Ho also with a 10 on the line, but that will be upgraded, you feel? That's, yeah, that was good. That was a 10. Good jump. Nine. 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 Kim Jong Ho. Just feeling each other out in these first few arrows. Ten. Ten for Kim Woo Jin, 29 points. Kim Jong Ho with a nine, so 27 for him, even if that first arrow is upgraded, it won't make a difference to the set score. So Kim Woo Jin goes into a two set points to zero lead. Yeah, Jong Ho really unlucky there, both of his nines were a couple of millimetres out, but in this game, a millimetre is everything. So um, Woo Jin lays down the first set, but as we've seen, really doesn't. Effect. Final out from the first set. But John Ko will be keen to get some points on the board, I imagine. Yeah, absolutely. You can't give the world champion a head start. Kim Jong Ho, age 21. A silver medal in the men's team event in the Shanghai leg of the World yeah. Cup Tour earlier this year. Yep. And he starts us off. And he finds the 10. That's what he needs, and he knows it. These archers probably would have shot a match like this over and over again in training back in Korea against each other. Yes. They know each other well. They will but they're still going to want to be Really different attitude to two countrymen shooting against each other compared to what we yeah. saw yesterday yeah. afternoon with uh, Galantine and Anderson, who were 
joshing around a little bit. Admittedly, it was a bronze medal match, but I, I think if Anderson and Jones had been the gold, it would have been a bit more like this because the, the money difference is, is, is just so much. Plus, they were both in the World Cup final as well, so they were happy. Nine. Nine. Now, has to find a 10 to share this set. He's capable of it, but it's a nine. So, as you said, Kim Jong ho able to find just enough to level the match up. So two set points each. Absolutely. So, they're both just missing by millimeters up there. I think the wind is just knocking arrows left to right a little bit. So, it's, uh, they're just, just, I feel like they're just feeling each other out a little at the moment. Neither of them are looking very excited, they're looking very serious. And, uh, so it's another one of those occasions where Kim Jong-ho, who qualified uh, in 15th place this week, has had to shoot more matches uh, to make it here. Uh, although he did knock out Yin dong Hyun on the way in the 1-8 round. So and then right here, so yeah, a small matter of... Uh, He's had some big matches there. Uh, and until he got to Duenas, he was working hard. Ten. Ten. So ten. Kim Woo Jim, really Jim only made to work really hard by Patrick Houston as well, so. That might stay a nine. But, I was um, going to say that's a nine. It's a little bit of gold in between the arrow and the the line. But nothing uncertain about that. When when Wu Jin is is on his roll, he's just like a metronome. It is so the same. Ten, ten. Still on the line on the other side for Kim Jong Ho, but here's an opportunity. Kim Woo Jin to go into a 4 2 lead. Nine, nine. This is a big arrow now. A 10 will keep him level. Oh, he can't nine, quite do nine. it. A 9, 28 points. Not shabby at all with three arrows, but not enough. And so Kim Woo Jin now 4 2 up yes. on the youngster. So Woo Jin is now in a position to win the match. John Ho needs to save the match for Hibi Shun first so he can make his uh, teammate really think about this. He showed already this week he's not afraid to beat his teammates, he's not afraid to beat the world number one. Uh, so he's definitely worked to beat here. And he knows how to fight. Yeah, let's hope he can use some of the energy of the crowd to make this a match and shoot himself back into contention here. A, uh, for the sake of the crowd, a set win. Yeah, Kim Jong Ho is what we want this next set to take it to four or I, I'd love to see him on a shoot off today. Yeah, we haven't seen one so far. No. It would be good if we could get one today and this is our last chance. Jong Ho, his arrow is away. It's a nine. I'll see with one. Quite get the measure of that. Let's just give him a sight of click. Jin also with a nine. Can't Put some more. punish Jong Ho for his first shot. Nine. Another nine. nine. Kind of felt that one when it went off, didn't you? It just wasn't as strong as his other arrows had looked. So, Cam Wu Jin hurt, hurt his young teammate here. Cam has a ten. Has to be a ten now. Has to be a 10 to stay alive. Oh, he finds hey, it. Hey. Credit to him. And he forces Kim Woo Jin into a situation where only a 10 
will do to win the match. Oh, and he gets it right on the line, but it's ultimately a, a brilliant effort, and the match belongs to Korea's Kim Woo Jin. He's the world number one. He qualified in number one spot this week. He's the reigning world champion, and now he has another World Cup stage medal to add to his trophy cabinet. Gold for Korea's Kim Woo Jin. That's a great day for Korea, isn't it? Yeah, they've had a lot of success this weekend. She's only the one, one medal they didn't convert today, which was the best match of the day. Yeah, it was bronze. Um, that, that final was a little strange, I think. Was a bit, I'm trying to think of the words to describe it. They were shooting it really well, and everything they missed was just three or four more out. You know? It was a strange final, it was a strange final, they were a little bit nervous at each other. Yeah, I think you're right, and I think it's, uh, he's very politely acknowledging his victory as well, uh, and res respectfully so, Kim Woo-jin, but uh, an, an odd scenario for them to be cheating against each other when they've been cheating together for yes. the whole week. Yes, I don't felt it, I didn't feel it, they brought the best out of each other. No, although you look at um, uh, the arrows as we see images of Kim Woo Jin raising his arms there to acknowledge his victory. And what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tens in the match. So 